Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about this truth, when and not if. Isaiah 43, verse 1, 2, 3. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you and he who formed you, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. And when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. In my late teens, I was part of a small choir that was hired out to sing at weddings and funerals and other special occasions. And I really enjoyed it because everybody on our team were people who had a little bit of talent. And we all understood the beauty of harmony, so much so that I would get lost in the technical aspects of the song that we happen to be singing. I get goosebumps just hearing the harmonies come together. Our song selection as a whole were rather sentimental at best and modeling at worst, but I still loved the harmonies within them. One song in particular was gentle to the ear, soothing to the heart, and a delight to sing, and it was a frequent request at funerals. I didn't give the words much thought beyond the course, be not afraid, I go before you, and it's based on Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 3. But over the years, that verse has taken on a deeper significance, and I consider it my life first now. It keeps on popping up everywhere. When I'm about to face a trial, or when I'm in the middle of it, this verse pops out of nowhere. Somebody will send me a card with the verse on it. Somebody will say, hey, you know, I was praying for you and this verse came to mind. You know, if you've been around walking with the Lord for a while, you know what I mean. But while I find comfort and hope in the verse, I appreciate its honesty. You see, it says when and not if. When you pass through the waters, when you go through the rivers, when you walk through the fire, God gave me fair warning to expect trials to come along my path. I would face trials that would threaten to sweep me away like a tsunami. I would face circumstances that would attempt to burn me to a crisp as if I was caught in a wild fire. But in the same breath that God reminded me when he reassured me that he would be with me through the suffering and he would not leave me there. He would carry me through to the other side. God has and always will remain faithful to his word. Even when my doubts and fears have threatened to drown me as I thrash blindly against my Redeemer, he still carries me to the other side. When fiery circumstances threaten to take my breath away, he hides me in the shelter of his wings and he carries me in those wings through to the other side. I look at this verse and I look back at my life and we've talked about a lot of the things that I've gone through in this book. And when I look back and I remember the confusion and the fear and the trauma, the disappointment, the discouragement, the feelings of betrayal that I have felt over the years. And we've talked about a lot of those things as we've gone through this book, and we've still got a little bit more in the book. But when I look back at the way that God has carried me through, even when I was completely overwhelmed and I thought my circumstances were going to do me in, I can see now he carried me through to the other side. I encourage you to do the same thing. Take that verse and go through and write two or three times for each section of that verse 
where God came through for you when you thought there was absolutely no way out and you were completely overwhelmed. Why am I asking you to do this? Because the Bible says when and not if, and there will be circumstances in our future that will be difficult, but we do not need to fear them or worry that God will not come through for us because we can stand on the testimony of our faith of what God has done for us already.